What's up, everybody? This is your boy Chainsaw. Listen, we have got a ton of things to discuss and talk about today, so let's just jump right into it. Um, holy fucking shit balls, though, and that's really the best way that I can describe um, this first story. This was brought to my attention by a, uh, a follower on Twitter. Um, I have to get mutual on Twitter if we're not. Uh, if I'm not already following this person, um, so definitely a, a mutual on Twitter. Just scrolling through, catching what's, uh, you know, the latest uh, haps uh, down in, in, in Florida with this whole, uh, you know, hurricane situation. And I came across this mindfuck of, of, of a tweet. So um, uh, thank you to Dylan for this. Um, this happened right near me. Big shot her for running to them. What the fuck does that mean? What? Um, so let's let's dive a little deeper. Um, Amber Alert canceled after cops shoot child they were looking for. You got to be shitting me right now. What what does that even mean? Well, I did a little digging and uh, KTLA um, uh, 75 uh, posted this article um, actually yesterday. Let's let's take a look. A kidnapping suspect. Let me pull this up so folks at home can see all the ads and whatnot. Kidnapping suspect, daughter killed in shootout with law enforcement in San Bernardino County. Sounds bad. Um, how bad? A homicide suspect and his 15-year-old daughter were shot and killed by law enforcement during a pursuit and gunfight along uh, the 15 freeway in Asperia uh, Tuesday morning. The girl was apparently wearing tactical gear when she ran toward deputies and was fatally shot. What? She was transported to the hospital by helicopter and was pronounced dead. Authorities were chasing a vehicle belonging to Anthony John Gra uh, Graziano, uh, 45, the suspect in Monday's uh, shooting and abduction in Fontana. Authorities say Graziano killed his estranged wife, Tracy Martinez, 45, and kidnapped their daughter, Savannah Graziano, during a domestic dispute. Kidnapped his 15-year-old daughter. The couple was in the process of getting a divorce. Uh, police said around 10.25 a.m. Tuesday, Amid the ongoing manhunt, a resident reported seeing what they believed was the suspect and his 2017 Nissan Frontier in Barstow. San Bernardino County Sheriff's deputies located the vehicle and gave chase. At one point, the suspect opened fire on officers from his rear window. Sheriff uh, Shannon uh, Dickus uh, said uh, during a news conference Tuesday afternoon, during the chase, numerous patrol vehicles were shot and one even became disabled. At some point during the ordeal, a deputy was hit in the face with shrapnel, Dickus said. The pursuit continued through the 15 freeway before the driver eventually went off the road at near the main street exit and a firefight ensued. During the shootout, the passenger exited the truck while wearing tactical gear, ran toward deputies, and during the gunfire goes down. Wearing tactical gear. So that means that they were they were able to identify that, you know, the best place to shoot somebody in tactical gear, but they weren't able to identify whether or not she was armed or potentially the kidnapped child that they were there to fucking rescue. Oh, shit. Jesus Christ. After the shooting stopped and the vehicle was cleared, authorities realized the person wearing the tactical gear was Graziano's daughter. The girl was immediately transported to a local hospital, but later died. And we know how these shootings take place. They don't just, you know, shoot them one time and, oh, oh my goodness, oh my God, we made it. Nah, no. Nah. I'm curious to know just exactly how many rounds were fired at this fucking poor girl and how many actually hit her and where. Oh my fucking God. Graziano was killed in the shootout. Uh, Dickus said it's unclear if the team was armed when she ran toward deputies or if she... Uh, fired at deputies at any time during the dangerous pursuit, but only one weapon, a rifle, was recovered for the scene. Well, I mean, if it's unclear, then what the fuck were they doing? You can't ask the other asshole cops who are out there shooting? That obviously, she's fucking dead. Maybe ask them. Hey, did you see a weapon? Hey, did you see her fire a weapon at, at any of you before you decided to mow this fucking child down um, with lots of precision aiming um holy shit he added that the information shared tuesday is uh, preliminary and the coroner's uh, officials needed to positively identify both people killed in the gun battle right 
I think it's called the investigation complex and indicated his apartment will be looking at any video taken during the chaos. Um, video from Sky 5 showed the suspect's riddled truck on the side of the road with several flat tires and shattered windows. The California Highway Patrol said all lanes of... of fi- well, let's just let's just go back to that. We called the investigation complex. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Y'all just murdered a fucking child that you were there to save. This is, this is every bit of what folks were concerned about Uvalde. Um, but... You guys did it. You fucking guys did it. You fucking did it. Of course it's complex. Wow. We'll be looking at any video taken during the chaos. Oh, fucking bet. Um, The California Highway Patrol said all lanes of 15 freeway were closed at Bear Valley Road and drivers were being diverted off the freeway uh, due to the ongoing police activity. The roadways were expected to be closed for several hours, officials said. Uh, following Savannah Graziano's death, the CHP uh, canceled its Amber Alert. Right. So, so that's a thing. Um, this is broken or something. Um, Jesus Christ. I mean, and, and and this 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 harkens back to to what we can expect out of out of. I hate to say it, folks, but but out of law enforcement, I mean, um, the, the same user that uh, the the. the Quote tweeted this that, that grabbed my attention in the first place. Um, makes reference to um, later um, the 2019 Miramar shootout, December um, 5th, 2019, a police pursuit of the jewelry store robbers in Miramar, Florida, culminated in a shootout killing the perpetrators, uh, the kidnapped driver of an, a UPS van, which they'd carjacked, and a bystander. Uh, the crime scene described uh, the situation as very complicated by the FBI special agent in charge. Um, the president of Miami Dade's police union. Uh, claimed that at least 11 officers opened fire on the UPS truck in response to the robbers uh, firing first. Um, the Los Angeles AP, the coroner's office, has identified a 14-year-old girl who was fatally shot by a Los Angeles police Thursday. Um, this is back in December 2021. Um, when officers fired on an assault uh, suspect and a bullet went through the wall and struck the girl as she was in a clothing store uh, dressing room. Police also fatally shot the suspect Thursday morning at a Burlington store in the North uh, Hollywood area of the San Fernando uh, Valley, police said. Uh, the Los Angeles uh, County Coroner uh, identified the girl as Valentina uh, Oriana Peralta and the suspect as Daniel uh, Alana, or Elena uh, Lopez, 24. Online coroner records uh, show their autopsies have been completed and their cause of death were both gunshot wounds to the chest. In July 2022, Denver cops... Uh, uh, Denver police uh, now confirm at least two bystanders were hit by bullets while officers fired at an armed suspect last weekend. Four others were injured in the July 17 shootout, likely by shrapnel. Um, yeah, and it just it just goes on from there. Um, what the fuck, y'all? Um, what the fuck? Complicated does not even begin to describe um, this situation. Look. If you're in law enforcement and you you think that these fucking people, I swear to God, this this whole mentality of well, you know, police officers deserve to go back home to their families. Yes, they sure do. But when that's the mentality, when that's that's the sole focus is to make sure that you get a chance to go back home to your family, maybe you need to get a job at fucking Seven Eleven because you're not cut out for this shit. The job's either hard or it's not. Shot a child in tactical gear. Don't know if she was armed or not. Don't know if she had in any way presented herself as a threat during an Amber Alert. Well, they're out there trying to save this 15-year-old fucking child. Wow. Just fucking mind um, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, I was I was not ready for that. Um, I wasn't. Uh, you know.